Mixi had a huge like 24% off sale at the beginning of April and your girl took advantage. Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're just going to dive into all of the products that I ordered during the Makesy sale at the beginning of April. It might have been end of March, early April. We're going to do some fragrance testing, smelling, so let's just dive right in. So the first thing I ordered, and the, the price on these with the sale, oh, sorry, it's really loud, was bonkers. Um, I got these dried calendula petals. I got a couple of bags of these. Um, they're beautiful. It's eight ounces, which is a ton. And I just, I, anytime I'm buying something from anywhere, I will go and do a price comparison. And I highly recommend you do the same thing if you're not already. Um, I just do a price comparison to see like what are calendula petals, what what is salt, what is this going for at other places. And this price was dumb. D-U-M, dumb. So I got these calendula petals and I got this to use in soap and bath salts. I recently started making bath salts and so I wanted some dried botanicals to add to them. Also, these are great to add to soap, whether you do hot or cold process or melt and pour because they're already dry. So it's not going to introduce any mold or anything funky um, in your melt and pour soap. So other than the calendula petals, I also got these gorgeous rosebuds and pink petals. You can see I've already used some of these oh my gosh and i i don't think you can tell but these are these are the bath salts i used the um the rosebuds and pink petals in Ugh. it is just such like an elevation to add to different bath and body products so highly recommend it i didn't see anyone that had like can you see the colors here oh my goodness. So I got those to add to my bath salts. The base of my bath salts is fine pink Himalayan sea salt. And to make different versions, I wanted to add uh, a different, you know, body, skin, relaxation, enhancing salt. So I got a couple of bags of the coarse bamboo jade salt. And this is so crazy. This, it's got an earthy fragrance to it, kind of like green tea. Oh, oh my God. I mean, some people I could see may not like that. The color is stunning. Actually, can you see it if I open it? Just so you can like really get, it's sort of this, yeah. Look at that. Gorgeous. So depending upon the fragrance that I'm doing, I will add, I added the bamboo. And then and I think, no, yeah. I think I added the bamboo to this one. It's hard to see, it blends really well and you don't smell that earthiness or that sort of that green tea fragrance once it's mixed with everything. And then the other salt that I got was this coarse black lava salt. Oh, it is just so stunning, oh my gosh. I love it, I'm gonna show you. So the fragrance ooh, that I was originally gonna make for the bath salts was Simbi's Basil Sesame. With this, because like black sesame seeds, I just thought like the whole picture and story would be just amazing. But I grabbed the wrong, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong fragrance oil. <laughs> so, but I still use this, but I ended up going with white tea and thyme. It was still amazing. It still smells so good. Also too, like this black lava salt, even at full price is still competitive with everything else that's out there. Like the price of black lava salt is huge, astronomical. Um, but with Makesy, even without the deal, without the discount, it's, I would, I'll still purchase it from there. And then for the bamboo jade salt, I didn't see that anywhere, so. So a couple of other things that I got just for my general making is I got the deodorized cocoa butter wafers. Um, I completely ran out of cocoa butter, but I had like the, like the raw cocoa butter and it's a pain in the ass, you guys. Like I don't wanna sit there with a knife or my hands, you know, 
breaking up these pieces or cutting up these pieces and then it gets all over the glove. I just feel like there's a lot of waste there. So I went with the wafers and again, this, it was so crazy. Like these wafers are super spendy everywhere else. I mean, it's a butter, it really depends. But Makesy, even without the discount, I think, I mean, if, if they still have them, I will purchase them there. So got the deodorized wafers, and what's great is they're nice, they're big, en they're big enough that I can break them into halves and quarters and thirds. If you've been around my channel for a little bit, or even a lot of it, you'll know that I started dabbling in perfume making last year, and so I just launched my perfume collection. I have rollerball perfumes that are in uh, fractionated coconut oil. And then for my aerosols, for my one ounce perfumes, I am using Makesy's Luxury Perfumers Alcohol. So I, I picked up a bunch of these just because uh, it's something that I'm using and it's great to have it in stock. So if you're making perfume or you're thinking about making perfume, you've probably researched like perfumers alcohol. Vetiver is a well-known brand of perfume supplies, alcohols, the oils, everything, the, fra the, the accords, the fragrances, everything. And, but the thing that I like was having a hard time pulling the trigger on is not everyone can deal with perfumers alcohol because it's very itchy and drying on the skin. So in my research, I found this one. Here's what sets this apart is people who are typically um, sensitive or have skin rashes, reddening, itching from perfumers alcohol, they can, this is fine. They can totally deal with this. Like. People get burns on their skin from uh, denatured alcohol. So this is not denatured alcohol. You don't need a special permit to sell perfumes that have non-denatured alcohol. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but if you're interested, I strongly suggest you Google it just to understand the difference. Um, but here in the US, it's okay and it's totally fine to sell perfumes that are using de non-denatured alcohol. So this one is organic. It's, it's produced from non-GMO grapes in a sustainable way, so the grapes are getting a second second life, and it just it's a nice clean alcohol. Mm. Who doesn't love that? Like that just ticks all of the boxes for me. The price is so good; it is bonkers. I think it's nineteen ninety five for a pound, and then with the sale, it made it even cheaper. So. All right, let's shift gears and let's do some first impressions fragrance oils. Ooh. The first one we are going to smell is uh, Vintage Leather and Oak Noir. I can, it's super smoky, I can already smell it. Also, how cute are these fragrance blotter strips? <laughs> Little branded Makesy on them. Oh, this is potent, oh my goodness. Oh, I can, I can really smell it. Dang, it's my child. All right, top notes are citrus leaf, lemon zest, and smoke haze. The middle is red thyme leaf, ooh, clove and leather. The base is burnt oak, olibanum, and sandalwood. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. Here, it's super smoky. Like first and foremost, this is simroki. Oh wow, it's citrusy and smoky, hint of leather, and it's herbaceous with the thyme. Wow, this is this is so unusual. I love it though. <laughs> it reminds me of like a Vegas restaurant. Is it One Oak? Is that, that's the steakhouse, right? It might be that one. Because you can smoke in Vegas, I not you, like the general public, I don't smoke. But if you are a cigarette smoker, like Vegas is your jam, honey. And so it smells like clean smoke and going into that steakhouse where it's like everything is leather seats. And um, it's, I think the citrus and the thyme are reminding me of like um, cocktails at the bar. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is not for everybody. I'm gonna say that right off the bat. It is strong. It is heavy. 
I think this would be a very upscale cologne and a very upscale candle. Oh my. Dang. Like, I wouldn't sell this in Orlando by the Disney resorts. I don't think that's your crowd. <laughs> but, wow. I Holy smokes. Oh yeah, that's going to be a cologne for sure. Mm. All right, the next fragrance is Bourbon Vetiver and Labdanum. All right, the top notes are frosted coriander, orange, cedrat. That just means citrus. It's a fancy way to say citrus. Uh, the middle notes are rosemary, white vetiver, and patchouli. The base is amber, fireside woods, and labdanum. So this fragrance oil got floated to me because, you know, on Makesy's website when you're shopping, the bottom left-hand corner, there's a pop-up. So whenever people are shopping and buying things, it'll tell you like, oh, Brie from Vista, California, just purchased bourbon vetiver and labdanum. And so I was like, what, bourbon vetiver? And so I clicked, because you, it's of course it's a clickable link. I think that is brilliant. So that's how I found this one. I read the notes and I was like, add to cart, <laughs> of course. All right, let's freaking smell it, shall we? <laughs> oh, oh shoot. Yo, oh my gosh, okay. This is so nice. This is sexy. This is very cologne-y. It's, it's like sexy man or woman. Oh shoot, okay. The, the vetiver and the labdanum are like, and then it's the patchouli. The citrus is so light. I think probably because that's the top note and that's what you smell first and then it goes away. Um, oh yeah. It is, it's like a little woody. It's super sweet, but not like sugary sweet. It's sweet from the amber. Oh shoot. I, yeah. That's a cologne for sure. Um, a beard oil. Oh my God. I just want Pete to smell like this. I just realized now that they're all in front of me, just the vibe I was on and so you'll see a trend here. Tobacco Blossom and White Santal. All right, the top notes are Tobacco Leaf, Bergamot, Black Pepper. Man, I love Black Pepper. I just think Pepper is such a great accord for perfumes. Uh, the middle note is Cocoa Blossom, White Santal, and Labdanum, old favorite. Uh, the base is Styrax. Oh, interesting. Styrax is basically like a little balsamic. It's similar to amber it's a little bit woody like it's sweet like amber little woody uh animalic oh that's okay uh, and then amber woods and vanilla bean can already smell it just sitting here on the strip and i love it oh i'm getting the vanilla first like the vanilla bean is getting getting there first followed by the tobacco leaf so it's kind of weird that the base and the top are meeting first yeah, I mean, white santal and latinum. Oh, this is a, gr oh gosh. Oh man, this is fantastic. This would be a great, in a, like a men's line. Any, any men's product, this is gorgeous. Like a beard balm, an oil. Let me see. They're just like very similar. This is like super like ritzy. Oh, this is just a little bit calmer, a little bit softer, especially like anytime you have, you know, amber, white santal, kind of like that. It's similar to a white musk. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. These are excellent. Wow. I'm this, okay, level up, baby. Level up. All these fragrance oils are all natural. Mutagen-free, vegan, allergen-free, paraben-free, carcinogen-free, phthalate-free, cruelty-free, toxin-free, cruel, I couldn't say cruelty. All right, we're gonna shift gears even more. We're gonna stay testing, doing first impressions with fragrance oils, but we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Um, I, we have had four people in our family have babies, or I think there's still two left that haven't had their babies. So we have four people in the family, um, two have already had their babies, Barb, Luke, hi. So I wanted to surprise them and create some 
natural baby products so to kind of help usher them in and just you know I wanted to make something super special for them so aside from and I don't have it with me but I got the pediatrician uh, a stamp of approval approved their baby balm base and so I was able to have a really good starting point because I don't make ba baby products and I wouldn't even know where to begin but I knew I wanted to do something so um, I have this base it was just awesome so I got a couple of different oils to add to I did a, a baby foaming wash and I did the baby balm for like diaper rash it also doubles as a nipple balm if you're breastfeeding so this first fragrance oil that I got is natural come on baby natural calming calendula and lavender powder so I've already used it, but I'm gonna put it on a strip just so we can talk through it. If you're in the market or you want something um, to make for your friends and family. All right, the top note is lavender and rose petals. The middle is wild jasmine, geranium, and calendula. The base is heliotrope, vanilla bean, and ambrette. This is so clean, like, even if you had, like this would be great if you wanted to make an all natural, like all purpose cleaner. I mean, it's very, I don't wanna say spa, but it is very serene and calm like that. And it could totally work in that type of application. But like, it smells like a clean baby. It just smells like soft baby skin. It is so nice, you guys. It's so freaking clean. I think that's the one I put in the, yeah, I think that's the one I put in the foaming wash. Okay, let's smell natural nourish, yo, natural nourishing nectar and aloe leaf. The top notes are citrus spackle, juicy pear nectar. The middle is aloe leaf and av avocado cream. <laughs> avocado. The base is whipped vanilla. So I will tell you that I did not end up using this one. It was a little too fruity. Didn't feel appropriate. Like, I don't know. What if you're like, you're a month old and you're like, oh, I hate that, but you can't say that. And then you just cry because, you know, language. It is super nice. It's very pear-y, very pear forward. Um, it's like, I think the top notes here stick around the longest. It's, it's vanilla-y for sure. It's super nice. I'm just gonna use it somewhere else. All right, and the last oil I have for us to sample today is natural baby powder and palmarosa buds. Um, this I for sure used in the balm. Uh-oh, it says it's being discontinued. Oh no. Well, shoot, okay. Well, let's talk about it and then, you know, if you think you want it, you can you can grab it. The top notes are rose, jasmine, eucalyptus, and chamomile. The middle notes are lavender, geranium, apple, pine, and palmarosa. And the base is powder, clove bud, vanilla, and sandalwood. This smells like a baby. <laughs> you know, it smells like what babies naturally smell like and I absolutely love it. I think it's perfect. So putting that in the balm that's gonna then go on their skin, um, even mom, I just, I just think it's such a perfect scent. It is very powdery, um, not too sweet with the, with the vanilla, not too clovey either. <laughs> it's more apple-y geranium powder but it's so chill. Like, it honestly just smells like a newborn baby. It is so beautiful. Oh. So I have been dabbling in making my own makeup. So my own eyeshadows, my own lipsticks, my own lip gloss. This is not something I'm looking to incorporate into my company or my product line. It's just a way of controlling what, uh, what ingredients go into the products that I use on my skin and my body. So um, this, this stuff is just for funsies because 
when I'm not making for the business, I do love to make for myself. So um, just be on deodorant and, you know, room spray. <laughs> So what I did is I ordered a couple of pigments, like liquid pigments. I have a lot of powder pigments, but for the for the lip gloss, I just thought maybe it'd be easier to use um, to use a liquid pigment instead. So these are the colors that I got. I got Posh Plum. Let me see if it'll swatch, and it kind of looks like this. So it's kind of like a, a dusty rose, and that's just already a great base, but then adding in some more white or eat, like anything else, I can add more pink, I could add more brown, just it's, I think this is a great color for a base um, to make whatever I want. All right, the other one I got is Racy Ruby. Come on, baby. So this is sort of a reddish brown. That's the Racy Ruby. I didn't do a great job so watching. That's the Racy Ruby. Uh, that's a great foundation for just all red, but oh my gosh, I love it. All right, and then the, uh, the other one I got is Blissfully Bare. Again, this is just great as a blender um, to tone back the other ones. Just get that swatched. So you see that is a neutral, cool, toned pink. Yes, 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 yes. All right, and then this one, because we all need a little electric pink in our lives. Electric pink. Oh my goodness, look at that. You're right, my left. This is Posh Plum right here followed by Racy Ruby, Blissfully Bare, and Electric Pink. So that's what those look like. Now, if I wanted to combine, like if I wanted to knock down, I'll just put these two together. Just do that. Pull the blush in. You already have a new shade right there. And this bear one, oh my god, this is this is so good, right? Oh, that was the bear. That was the posh plum. I love that posh plum because it almost is like a plummy neutral or like a plummy beige. It's so good. I mean, I'm gonna add the um, the racy ruby and the posh pl posh plum together just to show you what you can do. And these are just four, and I have like, you know, a bunch of other powders, but look at this new shade right there. And that's just working with four, and then you can pull, you know, you can just, you can just do whatever you want, but that is a great color. So excited. You can't have lip gloss without a lip gloss tube, and I need to make sure my hands are clean. I got a bunch of these to create different lip gloss colors, shades for myself and for my friends. And this other thing I got are these little two milliliter, what are they called? Yeah, it's just a two milliliter lip gloss. I got a couple of these because, you know, sending them to friends I just want to make sure that they like the color and I don't want to make a whole tube and then they try it and they're like, oh, this doesn't look good on me because <laughs> it's hard to color match and we're all different. So I love these. How cute is that? I'm dead. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my God. So lip gloss usually has like a peppermint, a vanilla, a coconut, a fruity, um, depending upon the brand. So for me, I got a couple of different, oh, I guess, yeah, I got a couple of different um, flavors. I mean, you're not supposed to eat it, but this is the Natural Coconut Cream. I'm a coconut girl, so given the option, I'll take the coconut. So the Natural Coconut Cream, it's probably my fave. And then I also got the Toasted Sugar. Basically, I mean, here's the thing. It smells like paint, right? <laughs> like you open the thing, you're like, oh my God, that's paint. 
but it's not. It, it blends totally, totally nicely, totally nicely. It blends very nicely in with the lip balm, lip gloss. Yeah, it has like sort of a fake vanilla sugar, but it's not like that at all when you put it in the gloss. Let me smell the coconut. This one, it does, it smells like paint, but like, yeah, it's weird. It's like, how's that smell like coconut? But then you put it in and it does. So I got the big one of this because this is so highly rated. It's their number one seller in um, flavor oils. And then I got the toasted sugar, just, you know, just to try it. Oh no. This is an oil, a fragrance oil that I have been so freaking obsessed with. <laughs> I blame you, Anna. This oil here, it has no business being like this. And frankly, I'm mad about it. My friend Anna, it's all your fault, girl. Uh, she has a company, it's called Ren and Rita. I'll link it here and here. Anna sent me a care package of a couple of her body lotion bars, and one of them was fragranced with this oil. And I am just obsessed with it. I fell in love with it. it it's the last thing I put on my hands and arms before I go to bed because there is some type of the Sleep Plus fragrances from Makesy are supposed to help with relaxation and calm so that you can fall asleep. And I tell you, like the two nights that I didn't put it on before I went to sleep, I could not fall asleep right away. So I don't know if it's like a placebo effect or what, but this fragrance oil is spendy. So at the 24% off, <laughs> I said, I'm going to treat myself. And I did, and I bought a 16 ounce bottle and it is called Lunar Lemon Balm and Sacred Clove. Does anybody else have this? Have you smelled it? Are you obs as obsessed about it as me? It feels unfair. Like, why? <laughs> I don't, I only make stuff for me. So I just had to make deodorant. I used this. I am making my own lotion bars. I'm using this because it is that good. I will say the clove is very strong. <sighs> Let me tell you all about this fragrance. So top notes are <laughs> lemon balm and mandarin. The middle is geranium, clove, and orange flower. The base is amber, patchouli, and vanilla. I love all of these things. Oh my God. It's so freaking good, you guys. It is clove and patchouli front and center, followed by the vanilla, the amber notes, and like the citrus. The man, yeah, the mandarin. Mandarin and, and yeah, it's, it's citrusy. I am so obsessed with this. It has changed my life. Ruined my life, enhanced my life. <laughs> if you don't like clove though, like you will not like this. So it's funny. Whenever I put this on and Pete and I are, are getting ready to go to bed, I will put my hands like this over his face and I'll be like, what do you think? Do you like it? Or I'll put my arm up to his nose and every other night he either loves it or he hates it. No joke. I, and look at, I don't know what's going on with his sense of smell, but he will be like, hmm. And then other nights he's like, ooh, it smells like Altoids. And I'm like, Altoids, it's clove. So I'm, I'm sharing all this information with you because if you want to just get a little sample or whatever, I mean, it's going to cost you unless you wait for a sale. But in my personal, humble opinion, it's the best. I mean, I am not inclined to spend that much money even on a sale on an oil, but that's how freaking good this is. So take, take that with like, some coarse black lava salt. <laughs> I highly recommend you take advantage of their sales. I also have a discount code for 10% off your order on anything. I'll link that down below. It is an affiliate code. So anytime you use that code, it gives me a little bit of an incentive. And for that, I appreciate you because it helps me out. So if I'm helping you out and you wanna help me out, that is a great way to show your support. And by watching any of my other videos or playlists. So until the next one, I'll see y'all then. Bye.